Well, we're at the home of uh, Anne Hutton in Camarillo, master photographer, certified professional photographer, long-time member of the uh, Professional Photographers of California, and also a long-time member of the uh, Channel Island Professional Photographers. Anne has a studio home and a studio outdoors. And Anne and her husband Chug built a beautiful garden out the back specifically for photographing families and seniors. And it's so designed that they can photograph anywhere at any time of the day and any time of the year. As you can see, it's beautifully laid out. Oh! The last time we've seen you. Oh wow, look at it. Well, what we're looking at, what we're all wowing at is the uh, the herb garden and the vegetable garden that they've just grown. Uh, Chug showing Ching the, uh, the garden. Let me swing round and we can see Anne's studio that Chug put together. No, that's the garage. Oh, excuse me, that's the garage. Oh, you've got nice uh, uh, tomatoes too. Yeah, we got that's um, the special group. Those are Italian. Yeah, and then we've got a whole different bunch of them. You're bro growing corn as well. Corn, yeah, that's at the back. <laughs> Strawberries, beans. As you can see, it's beautifully laid out. Uh, just perfect. All sorts of different photography of families and seniors outdoors. A beautiful light coming on the seat with the uh, backlighting of the uh, grass. Just perfect. And this is about five o'clock in the afternoon, so it's just beautiful light coming in about to this beautiful garden. Half an hour, the sun will come all through that back of that tree there. Built a new posing chair. Okay, Anne, why did you become a member of PPC? <laughs> um, Put you on the spot right now. Yeah, you have, because um, I haven't thought about it. Um, I actually went to the convention for the first time a number of years ago, and I saw the print comp display. And it was looking at that and watching print comp that inspired me to up my level. And I knew I had to join to up my level. Good girl, <laughs> see? Was I wide angle? <laughs> I caught her on okay. tape, but she didn't I'm want to be on tape. I'm staying behind Roger because he didn't tell me about this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, nice one, Chug. <laughs> Boy, you put it together beautifully. See, my secret weapon is my husband. He's the one that builds everything. I wanted a split rail fence, and he put it in in a day. Do you hire him out? I don't think he, anybody could afford him. <laughs> Probably not. And then did you see my 1940 Chevy with little one? So this is cultivated weeds around cultivated the Chevy? Cultivating weeds around the Chevy. 1940 Chevy. High school seniors and families and everything. Yeah, everybody. And sometimes we don't plan on using it, but mum and dad see it and then say, oh, can we get one with the car, the truck? And then these weeds will put little um, vintage chairs, like little shabby sheet chairs and shoot that way. And Little, sit the little ones in the weeds and then on the back flatbed of the truck we have a pumpkin set up right now for one client who wanted pumpkins wow that pole up there is because we needed to scrim it so uh. and then this whole area is going to be a pond soon for portraits all this will be taken out so you're still we'll, uh, working this we're definitely going to it's going to be so big it's going to have a low tide and a high tide <laughs> And you can row a boat across it. And then what do you use this for, Anne? Well, actually, it, it was really built as a playhouse, or Wendy house, we call them in England, for um, my girls. And uh, since then, we've incorporated it in. I had little girls out here on patchwork quilts doing a tea party with teddies, with that in the background was nice. This is one of my newborn sets, where I've got this green moss, and I can put it all around the bottom of here and then wrap a baby in wool, and then I just lay them here in the tree box. We saw it. Okay, we're now going into Anne's studio, viewing room and office, so let's take a walk inside. And the studio's down there, this is just the viewing room and office. Yeah, this is just the viewing room and the office. 
Once again, beautifully laid out. Big screen TV. Some of Anne's family portraits and her baby shots. And although we do use the eggs and we enjoy our chickens, all of my clients' children, that's their reward if they do a good job. They can go down and feed the chicken. Um, we have rabbits in the garden too. And then this barn is prop storage. It's got all my ch chairs. I have a chair fetish. And uh, <laughs> it's full of different chairs and props and a few backgrounds. And did Chuck build all this? Um, yes, he built the fence, the gates, uh, the little rocks out down there. Um, now this is Anne's piece de resistance, her studio, again Chuck built, and the cockerel is really helping us out, so to prove that they do have chickens and cockerels in there, again a beautiful backdrop for uh, all sorts of different types of photography, even going round to the uh, empty beer barrels, that Chuck had a great deal of time to empty them, some, <laughs> took, some him, new props took him a couple there of weeks. Too. There's a, the log right there is a new prop for hanging babies. It's all covered in moss. So you want to hang them up by the neck or what? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to put them on a sling. And then there's some new French or uh, doors behind that top for another new set we're going to put up. And okay. then right over here, see the gas pump? Oh, yep, let's get a close. Okay, we're standing on the uh, porch of the studio and looking at the gas pump. And again, another place, beautiful place to uh, photograph for the bench near the gas pump. Now we've come in the doorway of the studio and running up behind me because there's probably something she doesn't want me to see. But beautifully laid out. We'll swing round to the backdrop and to the lighting. <laughs> very efficient, very neat. And you can do window light as well. Window light? Yep. Beautiful. I wish we'd known you was going to come film. We would have cleaned up. <laughs> we caught you by surprise. And again, some of Anne's images on display. Thank you, Anne, for the tour. That was really beautiful. Got a really nice location here, and you've done, put a lot of work into it. So we appreciate you uh, sharing it with us. Thank you. Now we've now been joined by uh, Tim Meyer and his wife Dia and uh, we're all about to sit down and have dinner and a fun evening together. <laughs> Timothy say hi. Timothy say hi. Well done, you did that extremely well, I'm very proud of you. Well, you should be proud. I always am. I appreciate that. Okay. And I you. Okay. Like a gecko. It's a very small gecko. Bow-legged gecko at that.